Alright guys, JV Fitness here this morning. It is now 4.45 a.m. About to get a workout going on this morning. I'm about to go to the gym. So, just a little idea of what I do in the morning time. When I get up, come downstairs, get my water, take about six ounces of water, one scoop of shake, and a tablespoon of honey. Now you might ask, why honey? And why one scoop of shake? Why six ounces of water? Now this is what works for me, you know, you might want to do it a little bit differently, but the only thing is that the honey raises your insulin level. So in the morning time, um, your insulin levels are low because you've been sleeping all night, you've been, you know, just away from the world, sleeping. So the, when you put the honey in the shake, you get the protein, you get some sugar, right, which is, um, it's more like a fast acting carbohydrate kind of sugar, like, so it goes straight into there and raises all the insulin levels and gets you going through the rest of the day. So in the morning time what I do is when I get up, come downstairs and take a little stretch, go here, you know, I go into my weight. Just one scoop. Now you can put an extra if you want. Spoon should it be about that, not much. Alright. I'm sure they see the guy's going. So like I said, in morning time you really want to get this done because this is quick, quick, fast. You just get it in there, feed the muscles, you know, side your muscles from being you know, anabolic instead of being catabolic. Catabolic meaning that the muscles are tied to each each other because there's no feeding of the muscle during the night. So you want to just cut that as soon as possible. And if you're training early in the morning, you need to have some type of food. You know, when people say, oh, train on an empty stomach, do not train on an empty stomach. First of all, you're not feeding the muscles. Secondly, you're not going to get the best workout that you should be getting because your muscle has no energy to really work out. If insulin levels are low, you don't want to do that. So, your tip for today, always work out with something in the stomach. You know, try to do it about an hour before. You know, you get up time to go to the gym, it's 4.48. So, okay, let's say we leave here at 5.30. We have something in there. It might be simple, it might be a little bit, little meal, but it's still something. So your muscles are not like starving at all. So when you get in the gym, you get like one of the best workouts ever because you have something in there. You know, and I mean, when you get in, you know, okay, I have some type of reserve. So, number one, do not work out on an empty stomach. I'm not saying to eat a huge breakfast, I'm not saying to indulge in a bunch of food right before you work out, but at least an hour. You know, get in at least an hour. So then you can get in there and have some energy to pump some, some iron to get, you know, a good workout on. To put out as much energy as you need to the gym to focus on a chest or a back legs you know stuff like that so shake one scoop of shake six ounces of water and a tablespoon of honey and that's what I normally do in the morning time for me to get ready for me to start going you know get it right now and then just go get that done you know get ready and then it's off to the gym so within the next hour I'm ready and I'm gonna be off to the gym full of energy you know, ready to go to the gym and get a nice workout on and to focus on the body parts I focus for today. So, it's JV Fitness, www.jvfitness.com. You know, just getting a routine of what I do normally in the morning time. It's very early, as usual, but you know, I like to get myself done. So, keep checking the website out. And thank you to everybody for checking the website, www.jvfitness.com. And stay tuned for more. Alright?